Right, so so far we've got 24 different boxes in the advent calendar. If you click on any of them, it will display the same message, and that message is um, caused by this line in JavaScript here. So, the way that that has happened so far, we've generated 24 different div tags. All of them have got the class of door, and they've just got a number between 1 and 24 on. Then we add a click handler to all of them, so this is jQuery to find all of those div tags, everything with a class of door. You add a click handler, as in something that happens when you click on it, and that code is a function called onDoorClick, which I've got down here. And at the moment it just says alert to Merry Christmas, which is uh, what brings up the little um, error message dialog box thing. Okay. So now what we want to do is make a different message appear on each box. So we can do that by finding out, first of all, which box we've clicked on. Um, so in JavaScript, you've always got an object called this, which contains different data at different points in the code. And if it happens um, inside a, a function when you've clicked on something, this will be the object that you've just clicked on. Um, so at this point, I'm using the developer console. So on Internet Explorer, you can bring this up by pressing F12. On Firefox, I've got it with Tools, Web Developer, and Web Console. Um, and I'm just going to um, console.log, which will display a message in this box of this, so the thing that we just click on. So if I run that code, the post means that you're sending stuff to JS Fiddle. Uh, and you can ignore the stuff in blue. Um, so I click on something, I get the dialog box, and this is an object, and it's a HTML div element, which is what we expect. So it's a div element, and it's going to be the div tag that we've clicked on. Um, we can convert it to a jQuery object by using a dollar sign and the brackets, and then we can use the jQuery function dot text and that will find out the text inside the thing that we just clicked on, which is much more useful. So now it just gives you the text inside the thing that we've clicked on. All right. So rather than displaying that into the console, it's more useful uh, to remember it and store it in a variable. So let's say var day equals, and then this number here, the text inside the box that we just clicked on. Well, then we can do different things depending on what the value of day is. So day will just be a number between 1 and 24 at the moment. And I'm going to use a switch statement. You could use lots of if statements, but um, a switch statement would be more efficient because it will use less lines of code. Um, so a, si a switch statement has lots of cases. So in case day is 1, colon, um, let's say... Uh, on the first day of Christmas. And it will do everything until it sees break. And then you can do the same in case um, day is two. Oops. Uh, and let's try that. So hopefully, if we click on 1, it should say on the first day of Christmas. If we click on 2, it should say my true love sent to me. So let's have a look. Um, click on 3, it just says Merry Christmas, which is right, that will happen for all of them. I click on 1, it says on the first day of Christmas, and then Merry Christmas, which is good. And 2, my true love sent to me, Merry Christmas. Okay. So it's worth getting rid of that thing down at the bottom, adding your own.